So what we're going to look at here and what we're seeing here is Windows 7. It's the release candidate of the operating system from Microsoft that's going to be released later this year. And so what we're going to specifically take a look at today, though, is something that we just released last week is the multi-touch functionality within Windows 7. So we could first take a look at just something that you're used to seeing on possibly one of our um, other devices called Surface and just demonstrate the new features of the multi-touch. So what we're launching here is basically, obviously, a virtual pond. But what's really special about this machine and these um, specifically HP Touch Smart machines that are able to sense multiple touch points on the screen, you can see the fish reacting. Um, these machines, normally with any other operating system, would only be able to really detect one, one method of touch, but with these, I can do various various methods. And this is um, what we are going to be releasing with Windows 7 called the Touch Pack for Windows 7. This is called Rebound. It's again one of the applications that come with what's called the Touch Pack. And so you can see here, it's a very um, kind of responsive touch interface. See how um, you know people can interact with various different things. People um, have a lot of pictures, have a lot of uh, media on their machines. This is a great picture of somebody we, I just took a picture of yesterday. But you can see how I can just grab various different pictures. Here's one of our sponsors. And just do various things with them. Shrink them, rotate them, spin them around, you know, drag and drop. A very responsive touch interface. One of the other things that's pretty interesting here is our virtual earth. But virtual earth, um, most people have used virtual earth online. This is virtual earth that's optimized for a multi-touch environment. So what we'll take a look at is the globe, obviously. But what's really interesting about this is the ability to come in here and actually interact with the globe in a very interesting way. So I can, I can scroll in, I can actually rotate the globe. Um, kind of upside down here. So we'll take a look at where we're at here in New York. I'll just keep scrolling into our venue here at the Microsoft Gallery. And you can just see, you know, it's a very responsive, natural interface to be able to move around, spin, and get your bearing on where you're at in the world. Again, this is the Microsoft Virtual Earth for the Touch Pack. We have, there's a few more applications in it, but um, I think you're getting the idea of what multi-touch is all about on Windows 7. We have another one called Blackboard um, that is basically a physics game where you drag and drop and maneuver different things on the blackboard. So you can just move these things. Kids can learn how to make balloons move around, but it really immerses you into the experience. And multi-touch can be used not just in um, client applications, but also in just normal everyday applications. So Windows 7 was really designed um, to have touch in mind. So you can notice that the taskbar is a little bit larger here than what you might be used to seeing in, say, an operating system like Windows Vista. And I can just really do just about everything with my finger here. Um, I don't even really need the keyboard and mouse because I do have a virtual keyboard as well that I can use. So um, you could do various, various different things with it. So that's, that's Windows 7.